What's going on, everybody? Noobs33 coming at you. Everybody knows uh, I'm a big Smith Wesson MP uh, fan. I've had tons of them. Same thing with Glocks. And, uh, well, this is a little video on, uh, I think I'm turning to the dark side. Um, everybody knows I've had a Glock 19 Gen 4 for a while. Uh, updated and whatnot. Or, you can see that in my other previous videos. But, um, I acquired another Glock last week, I think it was, and I've gone back to a Glock 17 Gen 3 right here. Uh, got it last week, I think it was. It was fresh off the factory. When I got it, I checked the shell casing when it was fired, and it was a week old. And I was just lucky, 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 really lucky to find this one in the shop, regular price. Uh, it was bone stock. I've uh, gone on ahead and put some updated parts on it and whatnot. Um, first thing you notice is uh, the threaded barrel, which is a TSD match grade barrel. Uh, it ran me about, I think it was 209 for shipping and handling. And uh, went on ahead and did some other things too. Changed the sights out. I got the red back one sights. Everybody knows I'm a big fan of the blacked out rear and the front night sight. I shoot a hell of a lot better than uh, with um, full night sights front and rear. Uh, got some grip tape right there for now. Um, I'm thinking about sending the slide off the ATI to um, go ahead and get these carcassations in the rear and in the front and get the rear uh, carcasseration enhanced, make them a little dip, uh, deeper. Um, I've also went on ahead and bought a one of the new Surefire X300s and the 170 lumens. The one I have right here on the Gen 4 Glock 19 is the 110 lumen one, I think it is. The, like the first one as it came out. So I was like, shoot, I get tired of taking the, gun, the light off or whatnot on each gun. So I just went on ahead and got that got that off eBay. Um, also, I've changed out the connector in here. It has a 3.5 pound ghost connector in there. I uh, also changed out the trigger spring in there too, so it's running probably four pounds right now. Um, and again, I used to be an MMP, um, still am a bit MMP fan, but I just love the reset on the Glocks. It's more positive and you can hear it. But um, uh, also, I uh, didn't want to stipple a gun up all the way, so I stippled the reference points for your, your thumb and on the other side too for your trigger finger when you're not shooting. I also stippled the front strap all the way down to the bottom. Uh, stippled the slick side right here on both sides and stippled the back strap for now. Uh, I'll take this to the range whenever I get a chance to uh, shoot and, and see how it feels and if it needs some um, upgrades to it like stippling on it right here or something like that, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I plan on changing out the uh, mag release because it's kind of short. I think I have one from our previous Glock 17. I had uh, an extended one, or I might they have a might buy one from the um, eBay that has um the Ghost extended. It sticks out, has a little flat part, but it said um if you do conceal carry, make sure that you don't accidentally hit the mag release with the extension on it. So I'm kind of worry about that so uh, I think I might just go home and pick up that piece and um put it in here for now but uh yeah she's pretty stocked right now much of it oh forgot about the grip plug got a grip plug in there uh I forgot who it was I think it was Lone Wolf I think it was but uh has the kanji symbol for warrior the same symbol it's on the back of my slide right here on the Glock 19. I didn't want to buy another one of these to put it on the 17. So I just went on ahead and put it right there on the little grip plug. But, yep, I've officially turned to the dark side. Two Glocks and two MMPs. But I'll more than likely be running um, the Glocks now since I'm pretty efficient with the uh, MMP. So it's time to go back to the good old Glocks. Still not converted yet, but I'm gonna run the hell out of these guns right here for now. For now, from with my training, I know I have the core MMP and with the Trigon RMR, still gotta work that out a little bit, uh, work out some uh, tweaks in it. 
and kinks. But um, yeah, I'll be definitely running the 17, probably in the classes and Cassell carrying the um, 19 more often. But uh, yeah, um, if you got any questions, just hit me up on here. Peace.